<laughs> we should share this story with the world. It is a great story. The more it depends on the person I tell it to, though. Because yeah, I met Zach and Marcus on a subway. What does that mean? Ah, uh, but now we we set the context of it. So mm -hmm. we're in North York. That's already weird. And <laughs> uh, Zach and myself are up there because. Our uh, good friend and incredibly talented Claire Renault was doing a play in the North York Center for the Performing Arts. We just went to see it. Uh, you were at the adjo adjoining theater. Uh, so what, what, what were you seeing again? So it was from Angel Walk Theater. They were doing, I think it was a celebration, like a 10-year celebration. Oh, I could be very wrong. But I think the cake said 10 years. I, I, but, that's clear. Okay, that sounds familiar. I Shout out to Angel Walk, Brian Goldenberg. A cousin of a cousin. If someone's married to your second cousin, what relation are they to you? Ryan Goldberg. Does he have a sister named Jen? Yeah, that's how. So Jen was that messaging. Yeah, that that whole connection. There's more connections from this one. Anyways, <laughs> we're we're getting off track. That's on me. You were oh. telling a beautiful story. But this is kind of how it all started. Uh, so we're walking. Both theaters get let out at the same time, and we're walking up the streets. Uh, it's young. It's the only street in North York I know. And uh, randomly, as Zach and I are walking, uh, this woman comes up to us and is like, hey, guys, what did you just see? And uh, we explain what's going on. And uh, this woman, who, spoiler alert, is you, uh, is like, yeah, I just uh, was in the show next door. Uh, I wrote it. And we're, we're you know, gullible hayseeds from the big city. We're like, oh, wow, that's so cool. That's, that's amazing. Uh, you just, how'd the show go? And so we're talking about the show you didn't write for about 10 minutes as we search uh, for the subway. And I think, I wanna say just before we got on the subway, we were like searching for the subway. And I've got a feeling that maybe between trying to find the subway station entrance and having to continue this ruse, you're just like, I can't do both, guys. I made it. I, it's a lie. I just know these people. And uh, we were pretty impressed. We're like, wow, that's a pretty impressive. <laughs> it was like 10 minutes. I don't remember this lie. I actually did not remember this part of the story. So thank you for reminding me. <laughs> that does sound like something I would say. Yeah. And it, it helps explain because at first we're like, wow, this, this complete stranger is investing a lot of time in talking to us. But then when you we talked about like how you were like lying to us for 10 minutes, we're like, that's impressive. <laughs> okay. So now we get on the subway and now we're like friends because we're like, that's an experience that has never happened to any of us before. Or I'm speaking for you, of course, but for us, that's an experience that's never happened before. And that was, uh, that was fun. <laughs> I, okay, I also have to preface, I am directionally challenged. So I think at one point I was talking to my husband on the phone and I think I said, okay, Mike, I don't know what's going on or where the subway is. I've never really taken the subway this far. And, and then I think I just hung up on him. I said, no, I think these guys will help me. And then I don't know at what point in time I thought you two look safe. Uh, because, but then we figured it out. And I don't remember when I called my husband to tell him I was okay. But next thing he heard from me, I made friends on the subway. <laughs> Such a weird thing for him to hear. Because first off, I on the subway, I, I'm just, nobody talk to me. Nobody touch me. Don't, like, this is not, this is not okay. I don't like it. I'm scared. Where's an adult? But you guys were so cool. And I've never had someone, like you guys, when I told you that comedy, and I, again, I, now that I remember that I made up a story and you guys were like, that's funny, versus who is this nut job? I thought, I need to be friends with them. So that was, and then we ended up connecting in a lot of different ways. And I thought, I love these guys. They're just so funny. So that was very enjoyable. Thank you. Thank you. That was, because look, it's a long ride from North York Station to wherever we got off downtown. So I, it, it, it entertained us all. It was great. Uh, I love how we're both treating North York like, cause, uh, like it's just a, a, a completely foreign land to us that we get lost in easily. Can and I tell you that I'm from Thornhill. That's why it's the biggest joke. I, <laughs> I know the area. I should know the area. I've apparently never really taken the subway in that area, but yeah. Well, and, and I didn't grow up, but uh, when I first moved to Toronto, the first year I lived here, uh, I lived here in North York. So, 
uh, we're also doing a bit, apparently. That's, we're both, we didn't even know we were doing a bit, and we're doing a bit. That's what happens. So many bits. I can't believe I lied about the, you know, no, I see myself saying that. It's Just great. like confidence in me. I, you know what, the show, I felt, I think I had the confidence to approach you and Zach because the show I saw was so good. And I, you know, when you leave a good show and you just have that happy, elated feeling and you're just wondering, I'm like, I'm going to be friends with the world. And then it's kind of that Disney view of the world. Everyone, no one's a stranger. Everyone's going to help me. And then when you take a step back, you thought, you guys could have been really random, scary people. That is alarming. Thank goodness you weren't. But that could have happened. Ooh. It, no, it, it, it again, it worked out great. Because we, we also just saw a great show. And it was um, not like a, in uplifting musical numbers like you, you were seeing. It was, it was like a heavy piece. And it was kind of like a downer ending. But it was so well done that we're like, wow. And we're so proud of our, our friend Claire. And it's just celebratory all around. So I think when someone came to say, uh, I just wrote a show and it went great. Like, yay, something else happened amazing to somebody. This is great. <sighs> Well, I love, I love Claire. I only met her when I saw your conservatory grad show, I think that's what it was, yes. from Second City. And okay, here again, this is a short story that I feel the need to share. I, we met post Subway, and then I think you guys said, see our show. And I was in a mood to support you guys. I'm like, you know what? They were really funny. I think they'll do a good show. And then I realized as I was approaching Second City to see your conservatory show, I thought, what if they were joking? And what if I'm this creepy stalker person from the subway? That was a huge fear. Like, who, did she think we were serious? Um, guys, security. I don't know what Second City security was, but I thought there would be maybe some comedians. Ha, 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 juggle, juggle. Out of here, Robin. That's what I was picturing. That was... <laughs> They are just going to relentlessly uh, hit you with bit after bit. Everything you say will turn into a bit, and you will just eventually want to run screaming uh, from the premise. 